room. I don't know why I got a coat room in the garage, but I'm pretty sure that was wet. Still set. Second guy. He popped it that time. Alright, one missed is one we'll get later. set up on a little chatterbait so I've got all the time in the world to uh, set the hook let them agitate to it the only problem is today being so lazy I've uh, got a hardcore heavy duty rig set up here with a very light leader on it he's not that big so we should be able to throw him up another fat bass though Right. I'll just go through what I did. There's, first of all, there's the fish. Yeah. They've only been in the system for a couple of weeks now. Just get that rig out. You get rid of him first, and then we can talk about what we've done. Come here, buddy. These are, these are fairly educated fish. They've been caught a few times. They've got a big fat belly on them. And that's not row. That's that's. Oh, there's a big school of potty mullet in here getting nailed. So, um, that's more belly full of potty mullet. There's the fish, we're just going to let him go. Maybe that's a soft entrance for him, he won't feel that. And here's the rig. It's a little chatterbait from Decoy. I run it on a short shaft, just with a two and a half inch atomic paddle tail. On it. I've actually dyed the back a bit red just to give it a target. It's got a thumping action from the chatterbait, the weight draws it in a line and then we get two separate actions here so it's fairly irresistible to the bass. Um, turn it off and see if we can get a better clip. Try again. 